hey what's up guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl young and i'm back with another video super excited about this video it's gonna be my first makeup tutorial today i'll be showing you guys how i do my everyday makeup routine i like to call it a quick beat because it's simple steps that i follow almost every time i do my makeup i don't know why i'm waving again <laughs> uh but i don't wear makeup every day but the days that i do eight times out of ten these are the steps that i follow so if you're interested keep watching make sure you guys like comment and subscribe and let's go ahead and get started so as you can see um, my face is nice and clean and moisturized i made sure i washed toned and moisturized it before i started filming i also am putting on you know a little bit of chapstick so that my lips are nice and moisturized as well um, what I'm going to use to prime my face is my Smashbox Photo Finish Primerizer. This primer is actually a primer and a moisturizer in one. So it also helps to just adding a nice amount of moisture to your face. I think it's super important that my face is nice and moisturized before I start to apply my makeup because it just applies so much better versus being on a dry face. all right the first thing i'm going to apply to my face are my brows um, i like to do my brows first so i'll actually be using the nyx tame and frame tinted brow pomade in the color espresso by the way all of these products are going to be listed below in the description box um but yes i'm using this i'm going to be applying the pomade with a flat angled brush i like to make sure that my brush is really clean and super sharp so i just kind of squeeze the follicles together before i get started because that helps me uh do what i'm doing right now and that's basically just adding nice quick uh strokes i like to make the brows look as natural as possible as you can see i don't have a lot of eyebrow to work with so i really have to build my own brow so i just like to go in and fill in and kind of just create as natural as a brow as i can using the quick thin strokes i try not to use too many like thick long lines just because i don't want it to look i want it to look as natural as possible so i'm just going to repeat this process on both brows All right, next I'll be using my LA Girl Pro Concealer in the color Cool Tan. 
I'll be using this with the same angled brush I cleaned off the excess uh, product from doing my brows but I'm using this just to clean up the brow I use a very little amount and really just create a small thin line underneath my brow just to make it a little sharp and clean um, and then I brush out that excess fabric just kind of brush I mean not fabric <laughs> um, I, I brush down that excess product um, so that you can't see that line and it doesn't look creasy um, but that it still looks clean All right, next is time for my foundation. I love to use beauty blenders basically for almost everything that I need to use to like apply makeup. Um, I just think that it comes on the best for me at least. And my pet peeve is a cakey look. So um, I think that the beauty blender helps prevent that. But the secret is that you have to have a damp beauty blender. So I wash my beauty blender before I use it every day uh, or the days that I'm putting on makeup I make sure that my beauty blender is nice and damp because it applies 10 times better so I'm actually using the NARS sheer glow foundation in the color Bahia this has become my ultimate favorite foundation it's my first time well not in this video but it's my first time purchasing it it's actually almost gone so it's time to re-up but you know I was a Fenty girl I was a makeup forever girl and I still love those foundations but NARS is has just become my favorite the sheer glow is so beautiful it just gives you a really natural glow and the color literally perfectly matches my skin which i love like it matches my skin even my neck um it just looks so natural i get compliments on it all the time i definitely definitely recommend this foundation All right, so I'm going back in with my LA Pro Girl Concealer, again in the color Cool Tan, to apply my highlight. I'll be highlighting under my eyes and down the middle of my nose. I know some girls put highlight on their forehead and on their chin as well. I've just never felt the need to. I've done it a few times, but to me, it's just kind of like an extra step that's unnecessary for me personally. So I just like to highlight under my eyes to brighten up my face. Um, I make sure that my highlight is literally like one or two shades lighter than my skin I don't want to look like Casper so um yeah I, I'm using my beauty blender just to blend it out um, and as you can see it just kind of brightens up my face a little bit um, opens up my eyes and again I'll be using the beauty blender to also kind of blend it down the middle of my nose as well and that'll be the first step uh, before I start contouring All right, um, as far as contouring, I'm using my Fenty Beauty Matchstick. It's in the color Truffle, another product of mine that I love. I bought this months ago and I still have so much left, so it was a great investment. I'll be contouring under my cheekbones. I also like to do the perimeter of my face. Obviously, I'll be going down the sides of my nose. And then I also like to add a little bit of contour along my jawline. Um, I love like a nice, strong jawline. I mean, who doesn't? So I like to just kind of add a little bit of depth down there just to create like a faux jawline. And I'll be using my beauty blender again just to blend everything out and yeah, make it, you know, mix nicely with the foundation.
All right, next I will be using my Ben Nye Banana Powder. I'm sure everyone has seen this. I do not use this every day. I've had this banana powder probably for like almost two years. So I definitely do not bake every day. Um, but there are some times that I just like to set my face because I do notice that it kind of, um, you know, makes my face lasts a little bit longer uh, but I really prefer to just set under my eyes I use a very little a bit amount of the powder and then I do bake underneath my contour just because I like to make the contour nice and sharp um, but those are really the only places that I bake I, I let it sit for a little bit and then I brush it right off Next, while I am baking, I will be applying my mascara. Um, sometimes I like to throw on a lash, but for the most part, I'm happy with the mascara, especially for an everyday. Um, I'm sure everyone has seen this mascara before. It's the Maybelline Great Lash Mascara. Walmart, Target, you can pretty much find it anywhere. I've always been a fan of this mascara, so nine times out of 10, this is the one that I'm using. Um, so I'm just using this to apply mascara to my top lashes. Before I put on my mascara on my bottom lashes, I'm going to use this round brush to just try to brush off the banana powder. Um, I remember when these brushes came out, everyone was using them, like it was such a big deal, and then it just like died. <laughs> but I actually kept, I went and bought like a whole kit from Amazon, and I still use it, and I really use it for this purpose. The brush is a little, is a, uh, a lot more like stiff than some other brushes, which I kind of like, um, just because it really like takes care of getting rid of any like excess powder again i hate the cakey look so that's important to me for my bottom lashes i'm using just a regular black elf mascara i love elf brand as well they sell so much stuff for the low so the reason i use theirs on my bottom lashes is just because the uh applicator is a lot smaller so it's just like easier for me to apply to bottom lashes without getting mascara everywhere All right, next I'll be using my Pro Bronzer in the color Medium. I got this from the Beauty Supply Store. If you guys don't know, the Beauty, the beauty Supply Store is your best friend. They have everything for the low. <laughs> I'm all about a deal. Um, a lot of the little quick stuff that I buy that's makeup related, I get from the Beauty Supply Store. Of course, I love Sephora and yeah, I get my uh, foundation from there and maybe a few other things, but for the most part, I will head right up the street to the beauty supply and get what I need. So this bronzer is like one shade darker than my skin tone, which I like. It just helps me just accentuate my contour. So I'm using a big fluffy brush to just apply it all of the places that I put my contour under my jawline, under my cheekbone and around my forehead. Next, I will be using the Sephora Spice Market Blush Palette. I 
love this palette so much i remember when i bought this palette i wasn't even planning on buying it i had been using the same blush for years and it was half off it was like 14 dollars. i was like okay why not the colors are so beautiful they have such a nice sheen to them there are also a couple like more matte colors in the palette unfortunately the uh colors aren't listed on the actual palette they're only on the box but i like to mix the pink and like the rose gold color together it really is like a blush and a highlight in one it's so pretty it looks great in the sun i love this palette i i use this blush like every time i put makeup on Next, for my highlight, I'll be using the Benefit What's Up Soft Focused Highlighter in the color Champagne. This is a cream highlight, which I really like. I have some more like powdery highlights and then I have um, this cream highlight. And I like to use this one just because I like that creamy kind of like buttery look on my face. And this does just that. I actually got this as like a prize with my Sephora points and I really like it. So I've been using it a lot lately. I like to apply it right above my cheek, uh, cheekbones. And then I also kind of put it on my lip and down the bridge of my nose. So to do my lips, I'm using a really basic brown lip liner. This is from NK Makeup, again from the beauty supply store. Um, it's a lip liner in the color Coffee. Uh, so I just like to use a dark lip liner when I, a brown lip liner I should say. Basically when I'm doing like any lip except red, I just like a brown liner. Um, I don't really know why, I just like the way it looks. Today, I'll be using it with a gloss and just creating somewhat of like an ombre. Um, so I'm just outlining the lips really good, adding a little more in like the corners of my mouth um, just to kind of help with that ombre look once I apply the gloss. You can literally use any brown liner. I've used brown eyeliners. I just go to the beauty supply store. They're like $1, $2, and then I just grab one. Next, I'll be using my Rose Hip Oil Lip Gloss, another beauty supply product. I'm telling you guys, I love the beauty supply store. So I'm using this gloss. Um, I love a gloss. I'm more for a gloss than a lipstick. I just take me back to 2000 when we had all the different flavor lip glosses. I love wearing lip gloss and this is my favorite lip gloss. Again, like $2. Um, and it looks nice even if you apply it over over lipsticks but here I'm just using it with my lip liner and as you can see it gives me a cute kind of like brown ombre look and that's it. it is that easy like one two three simple look um, like I said this is like my everyday look that I go to um, when I'm not really trying to think too hard into what I want to do to my makeup Look at that NARS foundation, y'all. Look at that highlight. Look at that blush. Look at the, you know what? Look, if you guys like what you see, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up, please. Comment below if you wanna see me do any other looks. Um, also, if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. I'm trying to get to 100 subscribers. Other than that, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.